Welcome to another edition of Cody Videos. Today we're going to talk about how to back up and restore Cody. Now there's a few different methods and I'm going to show you two of them and then uh, maybe three if time doesn't uh, this video doesn't go too long. So first of all to back up restore Cody there's a uh, Co Cody sorry there's a useful add-on that's now in your setups that I've showed you in uh, my basics of Cody video. It's called Indigo. Now, when you go in Indigo, Indigo has a backup restore feature built in, which is great. Uh, so, for all of you that have used uh, Cody 17, watch my videos, you know that there's a config wizard in Fusion. But once you run it and install Cody and configure it, it's gone. So, they have a backup restore feature, which is great. Now, once you've set up your Cody the way you wanted, the views, uh, made all your add installed the add-ons you want, set up your accounts on Track TV or uh, with YouTube, uh, with US TV now, you'll notice you'll obviously you don't want to lose that. So if ever your Android box craps out and you lose everything, who knows? But so what you'll do is you'll go into Indigo. All right, you'll go into Backup Restore and you'll click on Select Backup Location. Now you want to tell it where to store. A lot of you asked me in the past with backups, it, why can't I copy straight to my USB? The reason is your Android box doesn't have rights to the US, to write to the USB uh, through Kodi. And a lot of boxes don't allow this. Uh, on older boxes, it worked. Uh, on newer boxes, not so much. There is a way to enable that. It's much more complicated than I'd like to show you. So there's no point. So for now, always store your backup for Kodi on the local storage. And then I'll show you how to copy it over to your USB stick. So where it says choose backup storage location, you click on there. You're going to get this screen right here, internal storage. I have my USB stick in here. So what I'm going to do is I always take external storage and I choose DCM or download, your choice. So for this example, I'll just choose DCM. So that's a local storage on the Android box or your Windows or whatever it is. Put it in a place that you know where it's going to be and that you can write to. So once you've done that, you click OK. And now you have full backup, all files and folders included. So we click on that. We type in a name. So for this example, I'm going to call it Cody 17 because I'm using version 17 Krypton. Now this Indigo is the same on version 16. So don't worry about it. Same way how to backup. So when you do a backup, as you can see, it's going to start archiving into a zip file. It's usually 200 and something megs, 300 maybe if you have a lot of add-ons. I don't like to put too many add-ons in Kodi because so many do the same thing. So I don't want all that clutter. Again, you can fast forward the video if you want. Okay, now it said your backup is completed successfully. Uh, you click OK, and once you've done that, we'll exit Cody, and I'm going to show you just how it works. So once you've exited Cody, whether you're on Windows or uh, Android, you want to factory restore your Cody. Now in Android, it's very easy. You go to Settings, you go to More Settings. You go to apps and then you find your Kodi. <clears throat> there it is. You click on it. You force stop because you don't want it to be running. In my in uh, in older versions of Android, you'll see right here clear data. So what you want to do is click on that and then click yes. And it's going to clear the data. Once it's all cleared, we'll go back to Cody. In my case, for um, 
Android Marshmallow, their storage here. You click on that and then you click clear data and you click OK. So for those of you with an older version of Android, you're going to see clear data on the other screen. So now you see it's at 163 megs, the normal size for Kodi 17. Everything's gone. So what we're going to do now is go back to our Kodi and run it. So as you can see, now it's preparing to run for the first time because we cleared everything. Those of you who make a backup, don't go clear Kodi. Just keep your backup. I'm just showing people how to restore. So don't go and erase your whole Kodi because you don't have to. I'm just sh showing people who want to restore a backup how to do it. So this is the way Kodi looks like 17 when you first start it up. So what you want to do is go to settings. You want to go to system settings. You want to go to add-ons and you want to make unknown sources enabled because you want to be able to install fusion and type in a source so you'll get the message warning just click yes that'll enable you to add a source and install from it then go back a screen <coughs> excuse me back to system go to file manager and click add source now for us to get into go back we need to install the fusion uh, source so http colon forward slash forward slash in the path you want to type that for the path and it's fusion dot tv add-ons plural dot ag so that's what you need to type. You click OK. Then at the next box, you click in for the name and you give it the name Fusion. So we know what this is. And then you click OK and you click OK again. Now that you have the source here, you go back a few screens. Now, I don't like uh, the way the uh, default interface for Kodi looks like. It's really annoying. So go back to the main screen. Go to add-ons, go to my add-ons, click on the dots at the top, and then you're going to get install from zip. Really stupid. I hate this layout. Uh, in future versions of 17, I hope they change this because it's really annoying. You click on install from zip, you choose fusion, you click on begin here, and you click on plugin program indigo. Now you're going to have to wait a little bit, depending on your box. I find that Indigo takes a while to install, so I go back to my main screen, place myself on add-ons, and I wait. Eventually, <coughs> Indigo <coughs> will install and appear right here. For those of you who like this skin, all right, keep it. I like Confluence. It's much simpler to navigate. And you don't have to scratch your head trying to find stuff. So now that you have Indigo, you click on it. First time you run Indigo, <clears throat> like I've talked about in a previous video, it initializes and installs. <clears throat> Once you have that, you notice here a bunch of stuff. All we're concerned about is Backup Restore. So again, we'll click on Backup Restore like we did previously. We're going to select our backup location. So choose backup storage location. We click here and we point it to our external storage where we copied our Kodi. All right. Now, if you know what you're doing and you copied it to a USB stick, you point it to your USB. Just make sure you know which path you put it in. So in our case, in this example, I put it in the local storage in DCM. I click OK. Now I click on restore backup. The file you created with its name should be there. If it's not, you didn't point it to the right place. So go point it back to the right place. We click on Kodi 17. I say, yes, I'd like to restore this backup. And now you just wait. Restoring the backup is a lot quicker than uh, backing up. There's a few things that it won't restore. 
uh, like your background. If you put a custom background, make sure that custom background is located on your Android box wherever you copied it to because otherwise you won't have it on the screen. So now that the installation is complete, I click OK and the Indigo will automatically exit Cody. So I'm just going to show you something here. Like if you go in your file explorer, which you can find in my apps or in my case, I put a shortcut. I go into local disk, I go into DCM, there's the backup recreated. And these are background images I have set for Cody. So this is in my Cody when I did my backup, this is where the images were. So this way, when I load up Cody, I will have my background image in the background. So here we go. Now, the problem with the backup of Cody, it always reverts with to the default skin of Cody. So what you want to do is go to fa uh, system icon at the top. You go to interface settings. You go to skin. You click on skin. That estuary skin, I really hate it. It's not user friendly at all. And I put in the confluence skin that I had before. And I click yes. And there you go. My background's back. Everything's back. There are, however, a few settings that do not get imported in. I don't know why. Uh, one is regional. So I had Canada before, so I have to click and change it to Canada. All right. Another setting that it doesn't import is the services. All the settings and services it doesn't import. So I change it to advanced here. I go to control. I want to use the remote control. I want to share my libraries. I have AirPlay enabled and the weather. The weather doesn't load either. So I go to service for weather information. Click on that. And there's my Yahoo weather that I had set up. It is there, but it's just not set up for whatever reason. Once I've done those things, I go back to the main screen. And there you go. My Cody's back to normal. Weather's at the top. And I have my favorite skin. My favorites are there. Everything's backed up. So those are the only little few settings that I noticed. If you go in system settings, the interface settings and the services need to be uh, changed a little bit. You need to put your, your, D, uh, your skin and the weather if you use that. But other than that, <coughs> there's your backup with Indigo. Everything's back. Uh, the background, make sure uh, if I go here in interface, skin, configure skin, see here background options, enable custom background, there's my uh, file loaded in DCM. Now if your file isn't there, your background won't load, <coughs> just so you know. All right, so there you are. If we exit Cody, my Cody's back to normal. For those of you who want a portable version of this backup, simply use your file explorer in Android to copy it to your USB stick. So, as so you go into local disk, you go into um, downloads, that's where I stored the backup. Basically what you do then, select the file, copy it, and then go on your USB stick and put it wherever you want. So I'll put it in the root, you paste it, and then you'll take it from the box. You can cut it and paste or copy and paste if you want to make multiple copies. I have a few USBs with uh, my backup. So it copies it to the USB stick. So then when you want to load it from your USB, you can just by plugging it into the side. And when you do your backup in Indigo, just go restore, uh, choose the backup location on your USB stick instead of the internal storage. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. Sorry it took a bit of time. Take care until next time and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos.